remember the first time I heard about Howie. She mentioned that there was a guy that was going to help her repair things. And I was like, okay, this is interesting. I believe, I believe in your magic motion. Mary is always the one that has the smile on her face. She's always the nice one, the kind one, the mom with all of her friends, right? <laughs> you look so nice. Thank you. <laughs> no, and how hard about too long? I'm pretty invested at this point, so. I got to know Mary through Howard. Everybody said nothing but nice things about Mary. She's a sweetheart. I can't even remember hearing her say a mean thing about anybody, but I'm assuming she just waits till we walk out of the room because a lot of us are pretty, you know, You're bad people. <laughs> she did have a little ornery stage. Mary used to do something that we called the turtle. Do you remember the turtle? So when she wanted something in a store, she would like get down on the ground and like put it under her and just cry until like she got her favorite cereal or like her favorite anything. <laughs> Mary, we're not gonna take Howie away from you, so there's no need to do the turtle. Family and friends, we are here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Timothy Ryan Howard and Mary Elizabeth Walsh. Let me first welcome you both, Tim and Mary, though I've come to understand that I should also say welcome Howie and Mary to make sure everybody knows who's really up here. Your forever begins today. About a year after Tim graduated, he decided to join the Navy where he served for four years. I was never so proud. Now, not everyone here knows, but Tim spent several long years, as most Navy men do, sailing the world's vast oceans. Actually, I stand corrected. The several long years in central Pennsylvania. Is that right, Tim? In the mountains of Appalachia. <laughs> <laughs> but what I did learn was the compassion that you demonstrated as you helped military families grieve the loss of their loved ones, and we see that same compassion in you today. After his four years was up, he decided to go to Ohio University, where he met Mary, the love of his life. Tim, not letting his lack of handyman skills stop him, convinced Mary that he would help set up her new apartment. A few hung pictures and mirrors later, and your romance was kindled. You guys are wonderful together, and I'm really proud of both of you. But just remember what you guys, the basic core, what you guys have together wake up every day and say how lucky you are, because it really doesn't get any harder than that, I don't think. By the authority vested in me, by the state of Ohio, I'm incredibly happy to announce you as husband and wife. Tim, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Family and friends, I am greatest pleasure to introduce you to the new Mr. and Mrs. Howard. about to lose good choices as he was growing up, but his decision to marry Mary was the best choice he's ever made. You got the kind of love to set my soul on fire. You got the kind of love that I desire. You got it. I love Mary as if she's my own daughter. She's the most caring, thoughtful, loving person, and I could not have handpicked a better person for my son. A life worth living for. I have watched her make Tim a better man and believe they have made each other better by being together. I remember one time when I was not home 
his friends snuck into the house to flower Tim. 15 pounds of flour, and that was actually pretty expensive back then. Yes. So they brought in bags of all-purpose flour and poured them over top of Tim. Little did they know, my dad, Tim's pop-up, had just pulled in the driveway. <laughs> Didn't anticipate Chuck catching us and scaring the shit out of us after, but it was well-deserved. I'm so lit, I feel like I can look back now and laugh. And if that's the worst that they did, or at least that I know of, then I'm okay with that. Just watch me now. Just watch me. Just watch me. Just watch me now. I'm going to show you how I do. Now, some of us know Tim to be a procrastinator, and others of us know that Mary has long wanted to be married before she turns 30. I'm going to show you how I do. Just watch me now. I am happy to share that Tim is meeting Mary's wish with six full hours to spare. <laughs> now get busy and make me a grandma.